common habits destroying your kidneys. Did you know that some of your daily habits could be undercover culprits, silently undermining the health of your kidneys? That's right, while we go about our day, certain seemingly innocent routines might actually be leading a covert operation against one of our body's most vital organs. But what are these habits, and how can we spot them before they do more harm? In this video, we'll uncover these common, yet often overlooked practices, and reveal how they might be stealthily sabotaging your kidney health. Stay tuned as we dive into the world of our kidneys, unmasking the everyday behaviors that could be putting them at risk, and most importantly, how you can turn the tide in favor of your health. Welcome to a journey of discovery and transformation, where your well-being is the hero of the story. 1. Overuse of Painkillers Now, let's talk about a habit that many of us are guilty of, reaching for painkillers at the slightest hint of discomfort. Sure, they're the go-to remedy for everything from headaches to backaches, but what if I told you that these little pills, while fighting off pain, might also be launching a sneak attack on your kidneys? First, let's get a bit sciency. Your kidneys are like the body's waste management team, tirelessly filtering and cleaning your blood. When you pop painkillers like their candy at a birthday party, you're not just numbing pain, you're also sending these chemicals straight to your kidneys. Over time, this can lead to what experts call analgesic nephropathy, a fancy term for kidney damage caused by, you guessed it, painkillers. The plot thickens when we consider non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, a common type of over-the-counter painkiller. These drugs can reduce the blood flow to your kidneys making it harder for them to do their job. It's like asking your kidneys to clean the house with a blindfold on, not the most efficient way to get things done. But wait, there's more. Besides playing the villain in your kidney's story, these painkillers can have a few other unwelcome side effects. For instance, they can lead to increased blood pressure, a bit like turning up the pressure in a garden hose, stressing the pipes. They can also cause fluid retention, making you feel like a human water balloon. And let's not forget the risk of stomach ulcers, because, obviously, your stomach wasn't feeling left out of this party. So, what can you do to protect your kidneys while still keeping pain at bay? The answer isn't to live with pain, but to seek safer alternatives and consult with healthcare professionals for a pain management plan that's kind to your kidneys. Stay with us as we explore more habits that might be quietly wreaking havoc on your kidney health you'll be surprised at what else is on the list. 2. Excessive Salt Intake Let's shake things up a bit and talk about salt, the beloved ingredient that turns bland into grand. But, as with many good things in life, too much salt can lead us down a slippery slope, especially when it comes to our kidney health. Imagine your kidneys as diligent workers in a salt mine. Their job is to balance sodium and water in your body. Now, when you indulge in too much salt, it's like dumping an extra truckload of work on them. They have to work overtime, and just like anyone overstressed at work, they start to get tired. This can lead to decreased kidney function, as they struggle to keep up with the excess sodium levels. But the plot thickens beyond just your kidneys. Excessive salt intake can play a mischievous role in raising your blood pressure. Think of your blood vessels as highways. When there's too much salt, it's like adding more cars to the road, creating traffic jams, high blood pressure, which puts a strain on your heart and arteries. And if this wasn't enough, it can also lead to water retention. Imagine turning into a human sponge, soaking up water, which can cause swelling in different parts of your body, not the most comfortable experience, to say the least. Now, you might be thinking, but I don't add much salt to my food. Here's the twist. Most of the salt we consume is hidden in processed and restaurant foods. It's like a secret agent hiding in plain sight, sneaking into your diet without you even noticing. So, what's the game plan? Start by becoming a food detective, read labels, cook more at home, and make friends with herbs and spices. They're the unsung heroes of flavor, ready to rescue your dishes from the clutches of excessive salt. As we continue on this kidney health adventure, remember, it's not just about avoiding the bad stuff, it's about embracing healthier choices. 3. Not drinking enough water It's like forgetting to water a plant, except the plant is your body, and the consequences are a bit more serious than a droopy leaf. Water, 
the elixir of life, plays a starring role in kidney health. Your kidneys are like nature's most sophisticated filtration system, working to cleanse your blood of toxins and extra fluids. But here's the catch, they need enough water to perform this magic trick. When you don't drink enough water, it's like asking them to clean a muddy river without enough water flow. The result? Toxins and waste materials can start to accumulate, potentially leading to kidney stones, tiny, painful reminders that your kidneys aren't happy. But wait, there's more. When your body is low on water, it can trigger dehydration. This doesn't just mean a dry mouth and a strong thirst. Dehydration can lead to tiredness, dizziness, and even affect your cognitive functions. Imagine trying to solve a complex puzzle with half your brain tied behind your back, not the most efficient way to go about your day. Moreover, inadequate water intake can impact other areas of your health too. It can affect your digestion, leaving your gut feeling like a deserted wasteland, and it can impact your skin health, turning your once radiant skin into a parched landscape. So, how much water should you drink? While the 8 glasses a day rule is a good start, the exact amount depends on your body size, activity level, and the climate you live in. Think of it as your personal hydration formula. As we dive deeper into kidney health, remember, sometimes the simplest habits can have the biggest impact. Keep watching as we reveal more everyday practices that could be quietly plotting against your kidneys, some might be right under your nose. 4. High-Protein Diets Next up on our kidneys' most wanted list is the high-protein diet. Protein, it's the celebrity nutrient, especially popular among gym-goers and health enthusiasts. But just like celebrities, too much exposure can lead to unexpected drama, particularly for your kidneys. Here's the scoop. When you consume protein, your body breaks it down into amino acids and generates a byproduct called urea. Think of urea as the exhaust fumes of protein digestion. Your kidneys are tasked with filtering out this urea from your blood. Now, when you're on a high-protein diet, it's like putting your kidneys in the middle of a traffic jam during rush hour, with urea cars honking left and right. Over time, this can strain your kidneys, especially if they're already working under stressful conditions or if you have pre-existing kidney issues. But the plot thickens beyond the kidneys. High-protein intake, especially from animal sources, can also have some side effects that could steal the spotlight. For starters, it can lead to increased acid in the blood, creating an environment more suited for a villain than a superhero. This can lead to acidosis, a condition that can weaken your bones and muscles over time. Another twist in the tail is the potential impact on heart health. High-protein diets often come with increased intake of saturated fats, which can raise your bad LDL cholesterol levels. This is like inviting the cholesterol gang to party in your arteries, increasing the risk of heart disease. But fear not, protein lovers. The key is balance and variety. You can still enjoy your protein, just make sure to include plant-based sources like lentils, beans, and quinoa, and keep an eye on portion sizes. It's like having a diverse cast in a movie, each actor brings something unique to the table. So. As we continue unraveling the mysteries of kidney health, remember, it's not just about what you eat, but how much and how varied. 5. Smoking Now, let's light up the discussion with a habit that's truly a burning issue, smoking. While it's widely known that smoking can cloud your lungs, it also casts a shadow over your kidneys, often in ways you might not expect. Picture this, every time you smoke, you're not just taking a puff you're sending a fleet of harmful chemicals coursing through your bloodstream. These chemicals are like tiny troublemakers, causing damage wherever they go. In the case of your kidneys, they can impair blood flow, akin to putting roadblocks and detours on the highways that feed your kidneys the blood they need. This leads to a condition known as renal hypertension, where the blood vessels in your kidneys become narrowed, damaged, or hardened. It's like trying to water a garden through a clogged hose. Not much is going to get through, and the garden, your kidneys, starts to suffer. But the story doesn't end there. Smoking can also accelerate the loss of kidney function in people with kidney disease. It's like pushing the fast forward button on a remote, things start to deteriorate much quicker than they should. 
stepping outside the kidney zone, smoking plays the villain in numerous other health sagas. It's a leading actor in the development of heart disease, lung cancer, and stroke. Imagine a criminal mastermind in a movie, smoking fits the bill, contributing to a wide range of health problems. And for those thinking about cosmetic effects, here's another twist, smoking can lead to premature aging of the skin. It's like turning the clock forward, but in a way no one really wants. So, what's the takeaway? Quitting smoking isn't just about clearing the air, it's about giving your kidneys, and the rest of your body, a fighting chance. And while quitting can feel like trying to escape a maze, there are plenty of resources and support systems to help guide you out. As we continue to unveil the secrets to maintaining kidney health, remember, each habit we change is a step towards a healthier, happier you. 6. Excessive Alcohol Consumption Let's pour into our next topic, excessive alcohol consumption. While a glass of wine or a pint of beer might be your go-to way to unwind, overindulging in these liquid indulgences can lead to a party your kidneys didn't sign up for. Alcohol is a diuretic, which means it makes you visit the restroom more often. Now, this might not sound like a big deal, but here's the twist, frequent urination can lead to dehydration. And when your body is dehydrated, your kidneys, those hard-working filtration stars, don't get enough fluid to perform their detox duties efficiently. It's like asking a janitor to clean an entire building with just a half-filled bucket of water. But that's just the beginning. Excessive alcohol consumption can also disrupt the balance of electrolytes in your body, those vital minerals that help your muscles, including your heart, do their job. Think of electrolytes as the unsung heroes of your cellular world, and alcohol as the villain trying to tie their hands behind their backs. Moreover, chronic alcohol consumption can lead to high blood pressure, a leading cause of kidney disease. It's like a constant pressure cooker situation for your blood vessels, and over time, your kidneys bear the brunt of this stress. And let's not forget the liver, alcohol's favorite target. Heavy drinking takes a toll on your liver, and when your liver is in trouble, it's a domino effect that can eventually rope in your kidneys too. It's like having two engines in a car, if one starts to fail, the other has to work harder. 7. Ignoring chronic infections Moving on to a habit that's often swept under the rug, ignoring chronic infections. It's easy to downplay a persistent cough or a recurring urinary tract infection as just another nuisance, but in the Grand Health Opera, these minor characters can have a major impact on your kidneys. Chronic infections are like uninvited guests who decide to stay in your body for an extended vacation. Over time, they can cause inflammation and scarring in the kidneys. Think of it as a constant battle happening inside you, with your kidneys being the battlefield. The longer these infections linger, the more damage they can do. It's akin to a long-lasting storm gradually wearing down a sturdy ship. But the story doesn't end with just kidney damage. Chronic infections can also lead to high blood pressure and diabetes, two of the main villains in the world of kidney diseases. It's a treacherous love triangle where one problem often leads to another. Let's not overlook the impact on your immune system. Continuous battles with infections can leave your immune system exhausted, like a warrior constantly on the front lines with no time to rest. This weakened state can make you more vulnerable to other health issues, creating a cascading effect of complications. And here's a twist, some chronic infections, like hepatitis B and C, can directly target the kidneys, causing conditions like glomerulonephritis. It's like having a specific enemy with a map to your kidneys, attacking them directly. So, what's the key takeaway? Pay attention to your body's signals. Those recurring health issues are not just nuisances, they're red flags urging you to take action. Regular checkups and addressing infections early can be the secret weapons in protecting your kidney health. 8. Inadequate sleep Now, let's turn down the lights and talk about something we all love but often neglect, sleep. Inadequate sleep is like skipping chapters in a book, you might get through it, but you miss out on important details. In the case of your body, those details are crucial for kidney health. Sleep is when your body goes into repair and rejuvenation mode. It's like a nightly spa treatment for your organs, including your kidneys. During sleep, your body regulates stress hormones like cortisol. 
When you cut this process short, it's like leaving a cake half-baked, it just won't turn out right. For your kidneys, this means they're under constant pressure to perform, which can eventually lead to decreased function. It's akin to running a machine 24-7 without giving it a break for maintenance. Lack of sleep can mess with your immune system, making you more susceptible to infections. It can also affect your cognitive abilities, mood, and even your weight. It's like playing a video game on hard mode, everything becomes more challenging. Think of your body as a smartphone. Just like how your phone needs to be charged, your body needs sleep to recharge. Neglecting sleep is like expecting your phone to run on 5% battery all day, optimistic, but not very practical. So, what's the secret to unlocking the restorative power of sleep? It's about quantity and quality. Aim for 7-9 to nine hours of quality sleep, and create a sleep-friendly environment, cool, dark, and quiet. It's like setting the stage for a nightly blockbuster movie where your body is the star. And there you have it, the grand finale of our journey into the world of kidney health. We've navigated through the twists and turns of everyday habits, uncovering how they can play friend or foe to our kidneys. From the silent whispers of painkillers to the loud parties of excessive alcohol, each habit has told its own unique story. But remember, this isn't just a tale of caution, it's a story of empowerment. With every sip of water, every well-rested night, and every choice to treat our bodies with care, we're writing our own health saga, where our kidneys play the hero, not the victim. So, as we draw the curtains on this episode, think about the small changes you can make in your daily script. Maybe it's saying no to that extra salt, or yes to one more glass of water. Perhaps it's listening to your body when it whispers for rest or help. Each choice is a step towards a healthier you, and your kidneys will surely thank you for it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more health insights and tips. Until next time, keep writing your health story, one habit at a time. Here's to making every habit a healthy one.